car wipe there today. Everyone's down there. There was literally thousands of them in the waves earlier on. It's unbelievable. lures around and see what we can get. Spot a sashimi for lunch. Cheers, Peter, for the hookup. Check out your outriggers. They're out there, out there rigging it. Another hour beyond. Do you want to clear that hairline maybe? Ah. Dropped them. Do you want to bring the arm? Um... We keep getting hit by these little albacore. We're trying to catch a big fish and the bloody little albies keep smashing us. One of them took the big lure. A chili bin full of albies, no bloody bluefin yet. Have a deep drop, see if we can get some of these big bass that have turned up here. That's a car while we caught last night. Thanks, Sonny. And using some big blue bottom bangers there as a rig. We're gonna go drop on the edge of this wall. We just found 270 meters down to 450. Bit of sign on the wall, so we'll drop on that. Hopefully, we'll get a big bass or a half hooker. Who knows? Man, that krill stinks in that car wipe. Boys are back in harvesting, Mo. Dirty shark. Dirty shark. Look how skinny he is. Watch out, mate. Tough kawa. Out of here, back across the bar, cup of tea. Clean the boat, be time. Yeah, ready to go home? Just how I like it. I'm gonna get your pan nice and hot for this one. Smoking hot. I'm just gonna really finally chop some 
ginger. It's a lot of ginger. Got a julienne there. It's all that noise coming out of that bloody. It's windy as outside. Excuse the wind noise. I'm gonna julienne some ginger. <laughs> fancy julienne. That's the fancy one. I'm just chop the shit out of it real finely. Picks of it. Now you want your pan smoking hot, I did mention that already. To be sure, to be sure. There we go. I'm gonna smash up some garlic. Chop that. Oh, three cloves will probably do it. Let's peel that sucker off. Oh, man, that ginger smells good. No, that pan stopped smoking. It's bloody good. Now, I'm going to slide that sucker back on there. It's already got a little bit of oil in there. Roll it around. Roll it around there. Alright, and just smack that tuna straight on. Nice and hot. Alright, now we've got our, our ginger slice and our garlic crush. Garlic doesn't have to be too fine, kind of chunky is good. There we go, and last but not least, some spring onions. Gonna chop these on an angle, just because they look a bit fancier if you chop them on an angle. Don't know when I got all fancy, maybe just now. Alright, get over there. And now I've got some lettuce here too. Chop that up. Smack it on the plate. I ain't gonna cook the lettuce. You're real careful not to overcook this. So a high heat. And you can see there, I've just cooked a couple of mils on one side. Roll it over. Cook a couple of mils on the other side. Now I think what might happen with this uh, tuna is that it keeps cooking once you've taken it off the heat. So just keep a real good eye on there. And you can see now that cook line's actually moved a little bit since I put it on. I should have put a time lapse on that as it slowly tipped it up there, but I didn't. All right, that's enough. Tuna on the plate. All right, now what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put that there to rest on the one side. And in the pot, I'm going to put a little bit of sesame oil there, and then I'm going to smack that garlic and ginger in. Take it off the heat. I don't want to burn it. Give it a bit of a stir. Add to that a little bit of sweet chili sauce. Ooh, yeah! I should have put a lid on that. Getting shit everywhere. It's still smoking on the element. I feel it spitting all over my shirt and stuff. Yeah, be right. It'll cool down. Oh man, that smells so good. Once that's caramelised up, you can see a bit of colour come into the garlic and the ginger. Just chuck those spring onions in there. You don't want to cook these for very long, you just want to heat them up. Alright, that's good to go. Oh, Jesus, that's hot. I'm just going to chuck that on top of the tuna. Alright, to finish off, I'm just going to get a bit of 
balsamic vinegar. A dash of soy sauce over there as well. Check that out. Now I'd like to finish with some coriander or something on there as well, but I don't have any. Or basil would actually go pretty good in this too. And some chopped chilies. But I'm just gonna eat it like it is with a bit of French salad dressing. Over the lettuce. Cheers. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at the colour. Oh, man, so good. This recipe and these ingredients also work really good for steak as well. And you can make a really nice steak salad. Super simple, super quick, delicious and nutritious. Check that shit out. Hmm?